Hey lovely people, welcome back once again to another exciting episode of Stitches Viz Collection. I'm Miss Stitches. Today in this video, I'm going to share with you how to make this beautiful and easy designed handmade beaded bags. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Let's get started. Materials needed. So you cut your fish line. You make sure it's long enough. You cut it off and we are using 0.50 mm. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line and then you pick four beads. Fix on any side of the fish line, being it's the right side or the left side. Fix all four beads and then you cross with the fourth bead using the other side of the fish line. Make sure you have the ends, so one side will be longer than the other, you pull it out and then you have your first ring done. Going on, you pick three beads, fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line. Cross with the third bead using both fish lines. Still make sure you have the ends of the fish line. So one side will be longer than the other, then you have your second ring done. Going on, you pick three beads, fix one on each fish line, and then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines. Make sure you have the ends and then you pull it out. And then you have your third ring done. So you are going to weave on with the same method until you have 24. And I'm going to do that off camera. So we have 23 now and then with the 24th part on this fish line, you fix 3 beads, you fix all 3 beads and then with that same fish line where you fix the bead, you go through this bead, this first bead here, you pull it out from the other side and then you have it this way then with this fish line you go through one two three go through one two three then with the other side of the fish line you go through this one bead here so both fish lines should come out from this bead as you can see then going on on this fish line you pick three beads fix all three beads And then this time you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out And then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then you weave on with the same method So when you get to the last end, with the right fish line, you go through this bead here, the last but one bead. And then on this fish line, we are turning. So you fix two beads. And then with that same fish line where you fix the bead, you go through this bead here. Then you pull it out. And then with the right fish line, you go through one, two, three. With the left fish line, you go through the next one bead and then on this fish line you fix three beads cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line which is my right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead so you are going to 
move on with the same method till you get to the last but one bead here so you should end at the last but one bead here so this is what you should have and as you can see i already have my fish line on the last but one bead so you are going to weave on till you get to at the end you are going to extend it and then you reduce until you get to at the end and i'm going to do that off camera so this is exactly what i was talking of as you can see we have two at the end and this is just the starting work of what we are going to do so i'm going to develop it in such a way that one side is going to be longer than the other so you are going to make um, an increase and then a decrease from here so with a new fish line we are going to skip this first bead here and go through the next bead so with the new fish line you just go through the next bead so you have it like this and then on this fish line you pick three beads then you fix all three beads you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and make sure you have the ends so one side will be longer than the other then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads on the left fish line again cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads again cross with the second bead you pull it out and then you weave on with the same method till you get to the last end and I'm going to show you how to make the increase. So when you get to the last end with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Then on this fish line, you fix two beads crossed with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. And then we have them on the same level now so on this fish line before that we are going to make an extension so this is where we make the increase for this side so on this fish line you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then we have our first increase made so going on we need to make another increase to start a new line so this side is going straight like this and then this down path will take the other side so going on on this fish line you fix four beads and then with that same fish line where you fix the bead you go through the first bead you fixed as you can see please watch carefully so you you wouldn't be confused with what we are doing so you pull it down then you have it like this and then you leave it then with this fish line with that same fish line you fix two beads and then you cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and make sure it's very tight and then you have it like this you have another increase here so as you can see we have another increase like this this is what we are talking of then you go through the next bead and then you fix two beads on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead and then you are going to weave on from here to this last but one bead so with the down part you make an increase then on the top side you make a decrease so like this we have it on the last but one bead then on this fish line you fix two beads then with that same fish line you go through this bead here you pull it out and then you pass your fish line through to the last but one bead here so we need a fish line on the last but one bead that's what we're going to do so we have it now so all we are doing is to get a triangle shape so this side will come straight and then this side will move straight like this 
so we are going to give on with the same method so we get a triangle shape so anytime you get here you make a increase and then anytime you get to the top side you make a decrease that is what we are doing for this side so moving on on this fish line you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go to the next bead fix two beads again on the left fish line cause with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then you go through the next bead and then you fix two beads again cause with the second bead you pull it out and then you go through the next bead so you are going to move on from here to this side and then you make an increase for this side when you get to the base you make an increase there so we have it there now and then we are going to make an increase so on this fish line you fix two beads cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then you have it on the same level so on this fish line we are going to make an increase for this side so on this fish line you fix three beads cross with the third bead then you pull it out and then we have the first increase here we go and then moving on to the next one we need to turn so we need to make another increase then on this fish line you fix four beads with that same fish line you cross with the first bead you fixed please watch carefully with this part otherwise you're going to be confused you pull it down and then you have your increase done and then still on this fish line you fix two beads cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then you have your increase made so with the right fish line you go through the next bead and then you fix two beads on the left fish line cross with the second bead you pull it out and then you go through the next bead fix two beads again cross with the second bead you pull it out and then you go through the next bead and then you move on with the same method to the last but one bead here don't forget when you get to the top side you make a decrease so when you get to the down part you increase and then when you get to the top side you decrease so, so we are going to move on with the same method so you get 25 at the down part you get 25 at the down part so please don't forget anytime you get to the down part you make an increase and then anytime you get to the top side you make a decrease at that side so we have it now and then counting from the downside you have 25 counting in twos you have 25 at the base and then this side you have 12 so with this method you need to count in twos so you have to count to the last end and make sure you have 25 and then now this time we need to complete the triangle shape so we are going to make a decrease throughout so we make a decrease this time no increase we are done with increasing so you will from the last but one bit to the last but one bit so on this fish line you fix three beads cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads again on the left fish line cross the second bead using the right fish line so as you can see we are using the same method so you are going to move on throughout till you get to the last but one bead So when you get to the last but one bead, no increase with the right fish line, you go through the last but one bead here. And then on this fish line, we need to turn. So you fix two beads with that same fish line. You go through this bead here. You go through this bead. Then you pull it out. And now you pass your fish lines through to the last but one bead here. Then you have it like this. So you are going to weave from this last but one bead to this last but one bead here. So now remember we are making a decrease like decrease only. So on this fish line, you fix three beads. 
cross with the third bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead so you are going to move on from this side to the last but one bead here and i'm going to do that off camera so this is what you should get as you can see we have this side forming up so it's going to move straight so then curve this way then we have our triangle so i'm going to move on with the same method just making a decrease not an increase so you decrease until you have two at the end just like this path here and i'm going to do that off camera so we have our triangle now this is what you should get we have our mat nicely made out you are going to make the sides of the bag so we are going to use this side so with this method you count in two so one two three one two three you one two three you trace it downwards downwards to the other end like this so on this side this is the first mark so i'm using this fish line to mark it up so I go through the two beads here and then I tie it up. I'm just using it for a mark, like to mark that side so I won't make any mistake. And then you move to the other end, this side, one, two, three. And then you trace that side also downwards to the other end and then you mark this side as well. So this is what you should have. This is what we have. So this is our base and then we are going to trace from the top downwards to this end and then there's our second point here you should have it you should have the beads divided yes yeah, so we are using another fish line to mark that side so you go through the next two beads and then you tie it up and then we have our two points here and then from this side you trace it to the top make sure you are in line and then you have separate beads too and then you tie it up like this so this is our base this is the base and this is where we are going to weave the sides so we are going to weave the side for the bag so i made this offline i made it so you have an idea of what we are going to do so i'm going to do the same thing on this side and this side here yeah. so with a new fish line before we start you should know that we start from this point this end this is where you have to start from don't start from this side otherwise you make a mistake so you need to start from the pointed edge then with your new fish line you go through the two beads that we marked you go through those two beads you pull it out so from where the fish line is when you trace it down it's still in line you should have it in line so on this fish line you fix two beads cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line make sure you have the ends you pull it out so one side will be longer than the other and then you have it like this now on this fish line we are going to make an increase so you fix four beads and then with that same fish line where you fix the four beads you go through the first bead as you can see the same method we used from beginning you pull it down so you have it like this you have your increase made then on this fish line you fix two beads cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out make sure it's very tight so you have it like this then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads you go through one two these two beads here then you fix one bead on the other side of the fish line then with that same fish line where you fix the bead you go through this bead here this one bead this bead please watch carefully and then you pull it out so you have it like this 
then we need to get our fish lines into this two beads here this two beads one two so with the right fish line you go through this bead one one two three then with the left fish line you go through one two so the left fish line will go through two beads So you have it like this, this is what I was talking of. Then on this fish line, you fix two beads. Cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. And then you fix two beads on the left fish line. Cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. And then you fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross the second bead. Using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. And then you fix two beads again, cross the second bead. Using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then this time we are going to make an increase again so on this fish line you fix three beads cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out yeah so we have this increase made and then you need to make another increase so on this fish line you fix four beads and then with that same fish line you go through the first bead as you can see you pull it down and then with that same fish line you fix two beads cross the second bead using the other side of the fish line which is my left fish line you pull it out and then you have your increase made then you go through the next bead. Fix two beads on the left fish line. Cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. And then you move on till you get to the down part. So when you get to the down part, you go through one, two. And then you fix one bead on the left fish line. And then you go through this bead here. You pull it out. And then you pass the fish line through to these two beads here as we did for the first part. And then you fix two beads on the left fish line, cross the second bead. Using the right fish line, you pull it out and then you move on to the top side. So when you get to the top side, you make the first increase, then on this fish line, you are making the second increase. So you fix four beads, and then with that same fish line, you go through the first bead, you fix, pull it down, and then you have your second increase made, and then you fix two beads, cross to the second bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out, then you have it like this, and then you go through the next bead. So you are going to move on till you get to the down part and there's the last part that we get to our mark. So we have it here and then you fix one bead. This time you won't go through the other side. You cross with both fish lines then you pull it out so you have it like this. Then we need to do the last one to fall on our lines. So on this fish line you fix three beads. And then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead so when you trace it downwards it is going to be on the same line you have it on the same line and then from this side you are going to have it on the same line where you trace it downwards 
yeah so this is what i'm talking off and then we are going to weave on from here to this side and then you are going to make an increase when you get to this side so this side we need nine and a half let me see you get nine and a half on this side so as we started with you won't complete this part so when you get to 10 on this part you start to decrease as we did the mat so we are going to weave on and then when you get to this part you start to decrease to complete the triangle we need on this side so we have it now and now we have seven and a half on this side so on this part as you can see i have my fish line on the last but one bead here i didn't go to the last bead i have it on the last but one bead so on this part you still make an increase so you get nine and a half and then this side you start to make a decrease so we have nine and a half on this part now we have nine and a half so when you start counting from the top side you get nine and a half so this side makes the half and now we are going to start decreasing from the last but one bit to the last but one bit so you get two at the end so this is what i was talking of is the same method as we started with so we have nine and a half here and then on this side we have nine so this is what we have now so these are the sides of the bag and then this is the mat we did for the first starting now i'm going to join them together to get the body of the bag or to get the full shape of the bag now and i'm going to teach you how to join the four sides together to get the body of the bag so with your matting when you trace from this side downwards it all has to be in line and then you can take the fish lines we used in marking it out so with the new fish line you just join this side like this together and then we are going to join this side so i prefer you start from the top side than the down part so when you join it you have this four beads here two on one side and two on the other side that's where i'm going to pass our fish lines through so on this four beads here we have it like this and then with one side of the fish line you just go through this bead here and then you pull it out so you have it like this then you pass your fish lines through to this bead here this bead so you have it like this then with this fish line you go through one two then with the other side of the fish line you go through one two so with this fish line you go through one two then with the other side of the fish line you go through one two so both fish lines should come out from this bead here So you have it like this and then you pass the fish lines through to this bead here to this bead here and then we are going through this four beads here so with this fish line you go through one two then with the other side of the fish i go through one two so both fish lines come out from this bead then you get it like this and then you pass the fish line through to this bead here and then we are going through this four beads here as well so you pass your fish line through this four beads you go through one two then with the other side of the fish line you go through one two so both fish lines come out from this bead So you have it like this, this is what you should get. Then you pass your fish line through to this bead here, to this one bead here. 
and then you go through this four beats so the same method we used we are going to use it throughout so you get to the end here and then at the end you should get some three beats at the button so i'm going to do the rest offline so we have it now we have this side nicely joined up and we're going to pass our fish line through to secure this part so this is what you should get after you are done and then we are going to join the other side with the same method so with the new fish line this side we have equal length so we are going to start from this four beats four beats four beats four beats we are going to join from that side so with the new fish line you go through one two three four this four beats here one two three four those uncompleted paths so you have it like this and then with this side of the fish line you go through this one bead to lock it up you pull it out so you have it locked up like this and then you pass the fish line through to this bead here to this bead here and then you get it like this and then you go to one two then one two so you go to one two then with the other side of the fish i go to one two so you have both fish lines on that bead then you pull it out so you have it like this and then you pass the fish lines through to this bead here so you can get access to join the other four beads then you go through this four beads here one two one two so both fish lines should come out from this bead here and then you pass the fish lines through to this bead so the same method you are going to cover up this side you move to the down part and then with that part also you need to get three at the end three at the button so we have it now and then i'm going to pass the fish line through to secure this part so this is what you get after you are done we have this side covered up i'm going to repeat the same method to these two sides as well and then with that you have to get three beads at the end and i'm going to do that off camera so this is what we get after you are done we have the bag out we have the body of the bag out now and now we are going to weave the handle of the bag so with the new fish line you go through these two beads here you pull it out and then on this fish line you fix two beads and then you cross the second bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead and then on this fish line you fix two beads cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then on this fish line you fix three beads cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads one two and then you pick one bead then you cross with both fish lines you pull it out and then on this fish line you fix three beads again cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out And then with the right fish line, you go through the next two beads, one, two. 
but then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out and then on this fish line you fix three beads cross with the third bead you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads one two and then you fix one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out so from the bottom the three beads i told you of you trace to the top side and that's where i'm going to end so that's where we started from sorry it didn't show that's where we started from and then you trace from the other side and that's where i'm going to end so you get it from here to this end so i have it here now if you trace it i have it so ending on this fish line you fix one bead and with that same fish line where you fix the bead you go through this bead here you pull it out so you have it like this then with the right fish line you go through one two then with the left fish line you go through one two three so the both fish lines will come out from these two beads here and then on this fish line you fix two beads cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then on this fish line you fix three beads cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads one two and then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out and then on this fish line you fix three beads again cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads one two and then pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line and then you weave on with the same method until you have two at the top so this is what you should get after you are done and then we are going to pass the fish lines through so this is what you get after you are done with this part of the handle and then we are going to fold it this way and then we are going to join this side so with the new fish line you go through this bead here please watch carefully this bead you pull it out and then on this fish line you fix one bead and then with that same fish line where you fix the bead you go through the bead this bead on the other side it should be in the same line so please watch carefully so you have it like this then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead and then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead and then you move on with the same method so you get to the top so you should get three at the top here and then this is what we have for one side so i'm going to put the same thing on the other side i'm going to do that off camera with the same method so we have it now and this for the handle we have both sides done and then you just press the middle a little bit and then it gives you the shape you want so we are going to complete the handle so with the new fish line you go through this bead here this first bead here you pull it out then you join both sides of the fish lines together then you pick six beads i'm using pearl beads for that and then you fix all the beads like this so we have all the six in the so we are going to join it this way the right fish line will come out from the left side and then the left fish line will come out from the right side then you pull it out so you have it this way and now we are going to pass our fish lines through it's very well to make the handle very firm because the handle carries the weight of the bag 
and this is what you should get after you are done passing your fish line through and we have our handle nicely fixed to our bag and you can fix a zip you can attach a zip to your bag or you leave it this way because it's fully covered and we are done with our beautiful and cute designed handmade beaded bag you can do this in any color of your choice feel free to increase the size if you want please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials make sure to comment and share as well stay safe see you in my next video have a nice day and bye